Welcome back to Loose Women this Wednesday lunchtime. It is January and we're with the cold, dark mornings. It's a wonder how any of us managed to make it out of bed. But, lucky London listeners, and easier thanks to our next two guests' breakfast show. Please welcome Jamie Theakston and Emma Bunton. <laughs> As if, is she talking about us? <laughs> is, it, is, that, is, that, is that us? How are you both? Really good. You're so really perky. Good. What time did you get up this morning? Uh, he gets up a little bit earlier than me. My alarm goes off at half four. <gasps> so I'm not, this is, we're not far off kind of. It's true, oh. yeah. But um, no, it's going well. It's, it's really good fun. We laugh all the way through it. Yeah, actually, really It's just the early it. mornings, isn't it? Because I did it Radio London for a week. And yeah. I tell you it's like <laughs> trying to go to bed at like 10 o'clock the night before and you can't make yourself sleep good. and it's like half past four and five so it's such yeah. a long it's day definitely a it? skill isn't it? we've got a fantastic question of fiona we've got loads of questions and, uh, it's for you jamie love jamie <laughs> it's been said that emma isn't a morning person <laughs> <laughs> Of her, one of her moods yet she you know what she's been absolutely brilliant you know oh. it's been it's difficult for emma you know <laughs> live in <and laughs> And with that early start, but we love each other, don't we? Listen, I love you. I love you. I love you I more. Love you no, more. I love you. Oh, it's early days, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we did it together. We did it together. I mean, I, I did 12 years of breakfast telly, Whoa. so. I, and, and actually, the difference between telly and radio, you have to look good on the telly. Do you, do you relax a little bit, looks wise, in terms of, you know, do you I'm are you looking trying, beautiful now? Aren't I? But do you See how go... beautiful she looks yes. now. Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're so cheeky. Uh, no, I do put a little bit of mascara yeah. on still, but again, that might change. Yeah. <laughs> you never yeah. know. But again, we just we do have a ball. We laugh a lot. Jamie is really funny. Is he? <laughs> so you believe it or not? I can't believe that you got away with starting an hour later than I he know, starts. I know. I know. So you start at seven and Jamie starts at six. Yeah, I can't. I don't understand. How did that work? How did, how, how does that happen? For well, the thing is, because Jamie is so funny and, and you know he's just brilliant <laughs> on his own for You're an good. hour. Mm -hmm. I then come in. Yeah. Any horrible little habits that he has that perhaps television viewers don't see? What's he? Really? He doesn't Go share on. his breakfast. <gasps> he doesn't make me tea. Mm. Um, he's uh, busy. He's got a show. He doesn't to do. share any of his jokes with me. No, <laughs> no, he hasn't got any bad habits just yet. How are you finding it, Jamie? Because obviously you've been doing the slot for a wee while now, and obviously. Right. Has come in. Is it difficult adjusting to a, a, a new girly? Well, it's uh, for probably 20 more years. More so, when did you first meet? Was it, the ozone? Ozone? it was either the ozone or I thought it was live and kicking when Jamie used to present wow. live and kicking. Uh, the Spice Girls were on that. The, we did one of your well. first ever TV interviews. Yeah, and he asked Jerry out live on air. <gasps> we'll lead into it by you. <laughs> I think that was kept a bit of a secret. No, nothing happened. Emma, you, you've done radio question. presenting before, because obviously you've had, you've had your own show slightly later in, yes, in the I day. Yes, I have. I've got my own show on a Saturday. Um, but you, I, I really have enjoyed the morning. As I've got two little boys now, yeah. so I'm kind of used to that. But, um, Isn't it easier doing an early day they get up? Exactly. It's so hard getting out the door when they're up. If you can get out yeah. before they're even out of bed. But also for a mum, it's the perfect job, really, because you can get there, you do the show, you get back, and you can spend yeah. the rest of the time with your kids. You know, yeah. Like mine are yeah. And I can spend the whole, you know, I can get a chance to spend the whole day with them. What about great. preparing the show? Who chooses? Well, we spend a lot of time and effort uh, studying our audience, and they give us a lot of feedback as to what they and uh, and we kind of play the music that they want to hear. So yeah. it's really the audience chooses. Really. You choose. Yeah, but who puts together the playlist and the running order of the show? The producers do She's that. She's very yeah. specific. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Jamie, I presented a playlist order at nine o'clock, and it, I, it, for me, nine o'clock was a nightmare. <laughs> and I would pray for it to come in and have some kind of <laughs> told. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. We've got, uh, we've got, I think our audience pretty understand the kind of music we play. Yeah, um, we, try to, we keep it up, don't we, in the morning? Yeah. It's a very cheerful station yes. in, in itself, right the way across the board. And, the, and obviously, the, you know, it's the flagship show. Do you sort of feel that responsibility? Go out and have fun. 
Well, we've got a very loyal audience, you they know, and they, and they like what we do, and, you know, the, we just have to school run with a bit of a kind of spring yeah. in their step, really, mm -hmm. that's, yeah. and that's what we're there to do, really. The so. feedback we get is great as well. We it's, as you said, it's a real up, fun yeah. station, Harp. Yeah. It's all my favourites, because I love a bit of old, I love a bit of new, mm. and that's what we give them. Can we and we still haven't played a Spice Girls song yet. Probably not. That's no. not bad. We're going to play one tomorrow. Oh, good. Can we ask a little bit about the how was yeah. that getting back together with the girls? It was incredible. Best night. In fact, I've spoken uh, to the other girls about it, and uh, I was. And we, it was probably one of the best things we've done as Spice Girls. It Were you was scared on top of the taxi? Because I was. Look at the heels. Yeah. They're in a taxi. <laughs> that was the that was the, the, the idea most was nerve wracking part for me. We there um, was a little uh, kind of rail that you could hold oh, on to, but, but still, it was so scary. No, yeah, but Emma, amazing. I've got to ask you about the musical because I went to the opening night. I thought yes. it had a fantastic atmosphere, Thank you. and I wrote. I was astonished to see that quite a few critics. Yeah, oh, yeah I th do you know what? It's so funny though. The critics have never really been nice about the Spice Girls, so we, you know, that kind of. And every night, my mum's been twice, my cousins have been, my friends, you know, and every night is stand innovation, everyone's dancing yeah. in the aisles, you know, so it's brilliant. So we anything mm. for the critics, so we, you know, yeah. we never expected anything. <laughs> It'll be a word of mouth thing as well, in the way that Mamma Mia just sort of grew and grew and grew and stayed. And we were... Terrible. Years. Terrible. Yeah, they all did. 20 Les million Mis years later. Got terrible. Les Mis got terrible. Yeah. Is with our show, it is such a you know, girls and my yeah. little boy loved it, my mum loved it, my so it's got, it's got that feel for the audience. Want to know if there's any truth in the rumor that the Spice Girls will be reuniting and going on tour? No, no, I think, no not as yet. You know, the thing is, we do love working together. You should, Jamie knows them <laughs> you girls could be massive. <laughs> Get them, tell them. Yeah, well, we'll maybe one. What about you, Jamie? You, you were a, a you were a cheeky little chef on the side. Or you did, you know, Master Chef. Yep. Have you kept kept it up since then? I uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I try. I, I, I love that show I'd never I genuinely yeah. hadn't cooked in my life. A lot of people say that, but I really was an absolute novice. I wondered what you were going to. Exciting for me because I learned so much, and you know, mm. to get to the final was—I'd never even believed that I'd ever get anywhere near. How did you get? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not entirely you sure myself, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but it was a lot up. of fun. Oh. Yeah, occasionally I'm still—I'm yeah, I'm good. I can follow a recipe. I'm, I struggle a bit to, you know, go off piece, as it were. But mm. uh, I, I, I do love it. I you love two it. of you—you know—you're really bubbly and, and getting on, and, and all this sort of stuff. And it's only been a week. It's very quickly, do you think you'll ever give each other the silent treatment? Is that <gasps> what, is that what you do when you fall out? We had a bit of that I'm, this morning. We had a bit of that oh, this morning. Already? No, 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 I'm joking. You're uh, quite rubbish on there, haven't you? I'm <laughs> one of these people, I have to have it out there and then, otherwise... Yeah. Thing. Yeah, we can do that. counterproductive to yeah. me. Well, it is, yeah. Mm. Well, do you know, I know it's only... Fabulous, and it's oh, really nice to see the two of you awake and perky. It's nearly it for today. Uh, just time to tell you that tomorrow we will be joined by the star of They Think It's All Over. That's comedian Lee Hurst. Have a lovely day, whatever you are up to today. Stay warm. See you at 12.30 tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.